residents in one Southeast Shelby County neighborhood say they are dealing with a very smelly situation. Thanks for joining us for the news at 430. I'm Alex Coleman and I'm April Thompson. The people living near Bennington Lake are dealing with what appears to be an unexpected consequence of our recent storms. WRG's Marcus Hunter went to the neighborhood to sniff out the problem. On their website, the villages of Bennington claims to be the largest conservancy in the state of Tennessee with over 1,400 property owners. Some of the owners say they are dealing with a hazard in their backyard. We have all these dead fish floating everywhere. And yeah. it smells really bad back here. Bennington Lake sits between Riverdale and Ross Road in southeast Shelby County. Last week, hundreds, if not thousands of dead fish washed up to the edge of the lake near the backyards of some homes. Looked out one afternoon and saw all this stuff floating. And of course, we thought it was maybe petals or something from one of the plants out here. And as I got close, I realized it was silver fishes. I had company on Sunday. We weren't able to sit out in the back. The smell was just so um, intense. They say the problem seems to have started when the pumps in the lake stopped working after last week's storms knocked out power to the area. Jay Tall lives near the lake. He says this is not the first time this has happened. The pumps uh, being out and not circulating the, the water and the oxygen in there. The last time it happened, uh, the groundskeeper guy explained, some, explained that to me. Folks we talked to say when they noticed the dead fish, they immediately started calling the company that manages the lake. By Tuesday morning, the fish were gone, but that does not make the people who live here feel much better because they say they are not sure why the fish died or where they went. Just giving an explanation would have helped, you know, uh, but just avoiding the issue, I'm not happy with that. In Southeast Shelby County, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. We did reach out to the company that manages the lake to ask what caused the fish in the lake to die. They told us the Homeowners Association added more fish to the lake for a recent fishing rodeo and that someone had dumped oil in the water. They say water treatment and fish cleanup is ongoing and that the HOA has the situation under control.